Um, it's definitely fun. Um, you know, the guys came out, starting five came out, really set the tone. Um, I thought the second group came out and followed their lead and, and kept playing with a lot of energy on both ends and shots fell. Did you guys need that after close games, overtime, all that stuff? Um, I, it's, you know, need, I don't know, but it's definitely great for us, especially uh, playing against the Phoenix team that's hungry, um, that's down a, you know, a guy or two, and, uh, you know, has been honestly playing good ball, so um, it's, it's definitely good for our confidence going into that one. You've said uh, Rob's the best lob guy you've played with. Um, his ceiling offensively, how close do you think he is to that, and what could he potentially end up looking like at his best on that end? I don't know. Um, you know, I think when you uh, have a guy with such great instincts and such great athleticism, um, and is so unselfish. I think he has a super high ceiling. Um, and Rob's still young. Uh, we're, you know, I think he's trying to get just 100%, and I'm not sure he's 100%. Um, so his ceiling is, uh, I'm not sure what his ceiling's will, ceiling will look like. You've talked about Jalen, Jason's shot quality from three. They both break out in a big way in this one. What do you see from the threes they were able to generate? Uh, just playing with uh, great confidence, like they've been doing all season. Um, we follow those two guys' leads. Uh, they came out in both halves and, and really set the tone for us, and uh, we followed their lead. It's been a while since you guys have shot this well from three. What was the key to, to, to getting those shots to fall today? I think moving the ball, trusting each other, and then shooting it with confidence. I think there are games where we'll move the ball, but we won't shoot it with confidence. We won't shoot the, the first great shot. We'll try to pass it up and make an even better pass. Um, sometimes it's important to shoot the first really good one you have, and I think tonight we did that. So you see when, when guys or teams have guys out, uh, there's like a letdown on the other side. Um, why do you think sometimes that happens, and how did you guys kind of avoid it tonight? Uh, I think you just let your guard down. You, you look at their lineup. You see KD out. You see TJ Warren out, too, their dominant scorers. Um, you know they got Kyrie out there, but um, you know it's, it's easy to let your guard down and say, we're going to beat this team regardless. We're at home. Um, and they come out and you know give you a really good game. So uh, for us, man, we're, we're locked in. We're, we're Honestly, looking past this, looking past these games at, at the playoffs, we're trying to prepare the right way every night, every game. But our goal is to, to be peaking in the playoffs. Uh, you mentioned that uh, sometimes you guys, you felt like you guys maybe pass up some looks from three. Did, have teams done anything different to you guys after the hot start you had, or has it just been sort of the natural rhythm of the season when you guys were so hot early if there was going to be a I think I think it's definitely a mix. I think teams are, you know, they got scouting reports against us. I think they're trying to run us off the line. They're trying to run Jalen. Uh, and Jason off the line a little bit. Um, and, you know, just making it tougher for us, making us make rim reads, you know, reads at the rim. Um, and then I think we were playing at, a, I think, a historic level to start the season. And that was bound to come down at least a little bit. Um, so we've had ebbs and flows, which is natural during the season. But um, I expect that to, it to go back up. Now, I don't know how high it will go, but that level of shooting, I expect us to be shooting, you know, close to it again. So you see Rob hit the little jump hook midway through the game. Do you think there's even more aggression he can kind of show on the offensive end? He kind of talked about Joe telling them that he can be more of a centerpiece offensively. Yeah, you know, he's a, he's incredibly talented. Um, you know, I think he's he, – we're only seeing a piece of him right now. He's, he's working his way back in off injury. Um, he's still on minute restriction. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of factors that are going into, you know, how he's performing every night. He's playing at a really high level. He's playing really well right now. Um, and he's just going to get more and more comfortable and become more and more of a centerpiece in our offense.